basically, I think the war on terror uh, was targeting uh, primarily China and second place Europe. Because if you control the oil, sor the oil resources, then you control the world. Now, um, all the efforts, because with Afghanistan, they, all, they are already on the, on the Chinese border. Um, so China is a major creditor of the United States. Um, so I think uh, that uh, a conflict between China and, and, and the United <laughs> States will be inevitable. Um, and I hope Europe will not be dragged into this uh, adventure. I know it needs a longer explanation, <laughs> but uh, short answers, like I said. Uh, but the war in Iraq was, was partly, you had different reasons. The main reasons for the war in Iraq were, of course, to control the resources, uh, to help expand uh, the state of Israel uh, for geopolitical reasons, and also to escape uh, their domestic crisis. Because uh, America is, is uh, a war economy. They cannot do without war. They cannot live without war. Um, so, so all these factors, I think, are, are in play. And, and then they're the ideologically driven uh, neocons who, who believe that they have to control the world in the 21st century. They, they wrote all that down in rebuilding America's re uh, resources and, and so on. They wrote that already in 97. We are on dangerous crossroads. The, we see that the conflict is moving to Pakistan. We see that the conflict is moving to Yemen. We see that the conflict is... is, is uh, yes, Sudan, but also the Horn of Africa, where they want bases. Uh, Europe, that always sort of controlled Africa, is now giving their territories uh, to, to the Americans. But we see that, that the, the government uh, prefer trading with the Chinese, because the Chinese do not want to control them politically. Um, so I think how it is now evolving that this cannot... Ytterst så tror han att, att det här så, USAs så kallade krig mot terrorismen riktade sig i första hand mot Kina <coughs> långsiktigt, strategiskt sett va? och i andra hand även mot Europa eh, och eh, på lång sikt så tror han att en konflikt mellan eh, Kina och USA är oundviklig att just nu handlar det om, om eh, territorier och maktpositioner runt om i världen kriget i Irak hade flera anledningar Eh, dels att kontrollera resurserna där, dels att skydda staten i Israel, dels eh, den inrikespolitiska krisen i USA som är en krigsekonomi och som behöver krig för att, eh, att kunna hålla sin ekonomi gående. Men långsiktigt så handlar det också om eh, en maktkamp mellan, mellan USA och eh, Kina där man ser den flyttar sig till Pakistan, den in, innefattar Yemen, den innefattar Afrikas horn där... Och, och många av de här områdena är områden där Europa tidigare har haft inflytande, men, men där USA nu lägger under sig. The number, the number of private contractors, well, it depends. I think they, some in Iraq now, they, they say that they will leave some hundred thousand private contractors, which, of which I don't know precisely how much mercenaries they are, because there are a lot of private contractors who who do other uh, sorts of jobs. But we don't know. The force has been uh, 200,000 uh, operatives strong. Um, but now they talk about 100,000, but I do not know precisely the figures now. I, I, and I do not know how many they, they, they are, intent, are intended to keep for the coming period. We see, we see that in the ethnic, so-called ethnic violence in Iraq. Uh, for example, let us see the, the Wolf Brigades, all ethnicities were present. All ethnicities in, in, the, in the Wolf Brigade. Um, we see that the command was Sunni, that there were Shia and Kurds, but they, they are all paid by, by uh, uh, they used to be paid originally by the USA, of course, but then afterwards by the so-called Iraqi government. Uh, so, 
I, I don't think it's a sectarian thing. We, we, we cannot fall in the sectarian trap. Uh, we know that the, the, the Americans desperately tried to create a civil war and they inst instigated sectarian strife and, and so on. Uh, but I think all, all, ethnic all ethnicities are, are complicit. Antalet privata entreprenörer i Irak just nu är ungefär 100 000. De har ju vetat att de har varit upp i 200 000 tidigare. Men han vet inte det exakta antalet idag. Det är svårt att säga. Men när det gäller Iraks specialstyrkor som bildades till exempel Wolfbrigaden så innefattar de alla etniska grupper. Ledningen var sunni men det var också Shia och kurder med där. Alla betalade naturligtvis först av USA eller senare av Iraks så kallade regering. USA har arbetat desperat för att skapa inbördeskrig i Irak.